technology has become a part of our everyday lives. It's used for watching TV, using the internet, and even finding out cures for diseases. But has technology affected music? And if, and if so, in what way? We will be finding out how music has been transformed and potentially ruined by the change of technology with instant online access to latest records. The majority of songs in the top 40 right now are computer generated, with only a few artists making songs with actual instruments. We are going to ask you, the public, technology or instruments. Instrumental because it's more personal. Computers are boring and cold. I prefer instrumental because I believe that um, computerised music, it ruins the natural sound of a normal instrument, like a guitar. If you play a normal guitar, it sounds just perfect, it sounds so natural. But if you change it, make it sound electronic, it just doesn't sound right. We also asked the public's opinion about dubstep, which is the computerised making of music. Uh, I don't really listen to it much, so I can't really offer much of an opinion. Okay. Uh, from what I hear from a lot of people I know, though, they generally don't like it. Mm, I think it's alright. I think it's a, yeah, it's a new thing today. Yeah. Um, no, it's alright. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your opinion on a dubstep? Used to like it. I don't really anymore because it's just got a bit. I don't. I don't want to say mainstream because I'm not like a person that don't like music that's popular, but it's just got a bit average now. It's shocking. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not music. It's just, it's just shit music. So the public have shared their opinion. But what do the experts have to say? What are, what are your opinions of music from the 70s to the present day? Well, the music itself, yeah. as opposed to the technology. Um, I think it's really broadened out, hasn't it? I think the internet's made a big difference. So it's really broadened out. There's so many different styles now to what there was then. Yeah. That's made a big difference. But obviously, being old, I don't think it's as good. <laughs> <laughs> um, overall, do you think it's become worse or better? I think probably... I don't know, worse really, because it's so spread out, so diverse now, do you know what I mean? You don't get sort of scenes and movements like you used to have, it's very, there's so many different, thousands and thousands of bands and acts, it's very difficult. Yeah. So I think it's probably got a little bit worse for me. With the new technology allowing us to make music on computers, do you see students resorting to this, or do you still see students stripping back to the music to instrumentals? Most young people these days are really good with computers, aren't they? And recording software is on most comes on most computers anyway, so they very quickly get to grips with that. So most of the music students are very quickly um, get the hang of recording themselves. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's a combination between the two. They still they still play, play their guitars, but they plug them into a computer now. You know, so it's not all yeah. synthesizer and keyboards like some people predicted it would be. But um, definitely, computers have meant more people can record at home than before. Okay. Um, is this difficult spotting? The original talent out of the wannabe celebrities? It's still about songwriting for me, really. I mean, songwriting has always been the same, right, since it began, really. So it's still about the song. I mean, no, no amount of production or no matter how good you are with a computer or whatever, or how, how well you dress and whatever, it's still about the song for me and the songwriting. I mean, um, so I don't really think that's changed too much, really. I still think that's at the heart of it for me. We went to the first year's music showcase, it was very good. And do you think that music courses will begin to orient towards the teaching of electronic digital music, making rather than teaching actual instruments? I still, I mean, most of the people who come to audition for us here are still guitarists, drummers, bass players, singers. They're still along that line, but it's, it's then it's the cross between the two, really. So it's then how do you get that analog audio into a computer? You know, you've got you've got to understand how the computer works. Because luckily, most young people do. It tends to be a cross between the two. I still, I say 99% of people who audition for us are guitarists, drummers, old fashioned instruments really. So there are very few people who come along who just want to, who just want to sequence, who just want to be engineers or producers, very few. Okay, um, what is your opinion on dubstep? Dubstep, oh man, um, it's just like a lot of dance movements and there's so many now, you know, there's so many, they come and they come and go so very quickly. Dubstep's not a type of music I'm really familiar with. Um, I don't come across that much of it, really. As I said, our courses tend to be more based around maybe rock music and pop music rather than dance music. Mm. 
So my opinion of it is probably not yeah. valid. <laughs> um, they don't make music artists like they used to. Um, do you, can you name one artist who stands out as an original? Very difficult to think of original artists now. I don't know if, I mean, um, a band who was still going, who were probably last, for me, last band who were trying to do something original, which bands like Radiohead, I don't know if you've heard of them. Um, band, bands of that kind, really. The, the originality is in, in, is in short supply. And I think the internet and the diversity of musical styles now really hinders that. It's very difficult for someone who's doing something completely original to come to the fore, to rise to the surface. Did you know that it is estimated that each person has around 500 pounds of illegal music on their iPod? And that 95% of music downloaded online is illegal? The internet has taken its toll on HMV as it went into administration earlier this year. Established in 1921, it is the only surviving high street music store. Back then, it was known for selling vinyls, radios and gramophones. Due to a change in technology, it now primarily sells DVDs, video games and technology products. There aren't really any music uh, stores left anymore, HMV is closing. How do you feel about this and how does this compare to 20 years ago? I think it's really, I think it's really sad. I suppose it's inevitable with the rise of the internet um, and the way that younger people access their music these days. They don't listen to the radio. There's no music press, so how they find out about the music has changed. So they they, they find out about the music online and they buy the music online if they're buying it at all. Most a lot of them aren't even buying it, are they? Just downloading it. Um, I think it's a shame that record shops have gone because, as well as being a shop, it's also like a hub, like a central meeting point for musicians and people who are into music could go into. I think it's a real shame that, that they're going. They're not completely gone. I mean, there's still some, but I think their demise is a real shame, really. Um, do you buy records primarily in stores, or do you opt for easy, cheaper downloads? I don't really download too much, really. Um, I do still buy CDs generally online, mostly. But if I'm in a if I'm in a different town to where I live or whatever, and I see a record shop, I will go in there. I normally come out with at least one thing. So. Um, yeah, I'm a bit of a mixture, really, but once again, it's because I'm older, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyone can now get their music published online these days. Do you think that's good? That's a good thing? I think generally it's a good thing if artists, songwriters own their own publishing and control their own publishing. I don't think that necessarily a lot of people understand what publishing is, and that creates problems, really. Um, so I think... It, I think it's a good thing generally, but I do wish there was more education about what publishing is. A lot, a lot of songwriters and singers, they don't really understand how, how they make their money. They don't see the importance of publishing. Maybe it's not as as, fashion, as, trend, you know, as glamorous as recording contracts and stuff like that. Publishing can be a bit boring because it's about collecting money, in, isn't it? But um, it's very important for songwriters to get their head around it. I just, I just, we, we try to educate them here on what it is. But, so I think it's important they keep hold of their own publishing and control it themselves, but I wish they had a little bit more background knowledge about it. Yeah. So, with the information we have gathered, we can conclude that music is changing due to technology. However, instrumental music will still live on as true artists are still out there. And even though illegally downloading music is a growing issue, it's not like Rihanna or Bieber will be affected by this anytime soon. This is Death of Music. Goodbye.